Okay, we're continuing on. Um, the last video, we looked at the trial balance. We prepared the trial balance. So I've left this on the board. Here was the trial balance from the last video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the numbers from the trial balance and we're going to prepare our financial statements. We're going to prepare the, prepare the income statement, the statement of owner's equity, and the balance sheet. So first of all, the income statement, as you're all aware, is made up of these accounts right here. Our revenue, which is sales, and we only have two expenses, wage expense and rent expense. So I'm going to put down sales of 50000 and then we'll have less uh, rent expense and uh, wage expense. I did those backwards, but that's okay. So rent expense is the bottom one, the 10000 and the wage expense is the top one, 30000 So now when we subtract our expenses from our revenue, from our sales, we get net income of 10000 Okay, So that's, that's our profit that we earned during this time period. Okay, So now we've done our income statement, and now remember that these things articulate, meaning you need this number in order to prepare the next financial statement. So, statement of owner's equity. This was a brand new company. So, we start with the beginning capital balance. And the beginning capital balance for a new company would be zero. But during the time period, the owner contributed $20,000 to the business. So, we're going to put down a contribution of $20,000 plus the net income. I have NI here. That stands for net income, $10,000. And let's just do an arrow here just so we know where that's coming from. That's where we're getting that $10,000 less the withdrawal. The withdrawal is 2000 right here. It's a debit balance. I'm going to put that in parentheses just so we make sure we realize that we have to subtract that. So we've got 20, 30, minus 2. So that gets us our ending capital balance. We have an ending capital balance then of 28000 Now we're going to need this capital balance in our equity over here. So why don't we just put that in? We'll put capital 28,000. Okay, this is our balance sheet. So here's our balance sheet. We have assets, and then they equal liabilities and equity. That's our, um, our accounting equation. The assets are these three items right here. Cash, accounts receivable, and supplies. Cash, I'm going to abbreviate accounts receivable, A slash R, and supplies. Cash is 25,000. Accounts receivable was 8,000. And supplies is 7,000. So our total assets, then, when we add those up, our total assets are 40000 And we should put that down. I don't have a lot of room, but I'm going to put down total assets equals 40000 Our liability, we have one liability, accounts payable. I'm going to abbreviate that, A slash P. Accounts payable is 12000 So we've got accounts payable and capital. So then our total... Liability and equity, when we add these up, they total up to 40000 And so our balance sheet does balance, 40000 40000 Now, be very careful. This is our capital account. And if you look here, our capital account says 20000 Okay, It's actually 28000 because this was just the owner contribution. We also have to take into consideration the withdrawal, and then our net income from our income statement, see, just like we did over here, and we got the 28000 So this is where we get the capital balance. We take it from our statement of owner's equity, our capital balance there, and that's what we plug in over here to equity. Now, in, in later chapters, we're going to see how we actually get the capital account to this balance, because at the end of the year, we will. We're going to close out some of these accounts, and the ending balance will actually be 28000 but that's for a later lecture, okay? Make sure you go over this very carefully. It's really important you understand how all this fits together. And it does make sense. You just got to make sure that you understand what's going on. You understand the terms, the definitions, what an asset liability equity account are, what revenues and expenses are, what the financial statements are, and you need to understand the debits and credits. So if you're still struggling with those, go back to the previous videos. Look at those over and over again to make sure you get these concepts down. Good luck.